Raise your shield. Sire. Raise your shield as high as you can. Your father should have taught you how our failings work. We fight as a single impenetrable unit. That is the source of our strength. Each Spartan protects the man to his left and thigh to neck with a shield. A single weak spot and the phalanx shatters. From thigh to neck, Ephialtes. I am sorry, my friend, but not all of us were made to be so. I cannot use you. You... Hey, Shalom, Shalom. I want to give first and foremost all glory and praises to Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash. Hey, double honor to the positive the elders, great millstone. Peace and salutation for the hopeful like Afghan that's pushing his word and true sincerity. <clears throat> As you can see, he saw what happened. He saw the madness that's going on in Israel, <clears throat> which I don't really claim them as Israel. And so people are wondering why I'm saying that, because the scriptures say so. Okay, this is what happens when you um, come together with different doctrines. There's always going to be animosity. There's always going to be murmurings. There's going to be nothing but confusion. It's like going to a hair salon with a bunch of women and you hear their conversations and you hear them just hating on one another. That's what, that's what I clearly saw. Okay, and, and the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Rashad is not with that. And I've seen a lot of people on the comment boards you know, wondering why this happening. Well, it's easy. You, they're not speaking the same things. That that house is destined to fall. Okay, that foundation was built on sticks and stone, sticks and straws. It's gonna collapse, as what you can see right there. Okay. All right. Let's get the first scripture real quick. This is Romans nine verse six. All right. Not as though the word of the Most High have taken none effect, for they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. See, you see these men out there claiming they're Israel, but they're not really of Yahweh Bashem El Shah. They're not really of Israel. And that and this is the reason why I'm eliminating the comment, not eliminating I'm eliminating the, the excuse what uh what um youngsters are saying right now, you know. If they if they um teach Israel and I'm all for them. No, that's not the way it rose. Okay? That means you 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 um following blindly. Okay? That's not faith. That's your flesh. That's not the spirit. Okay? All right, let's read it again. This for all you people who still wants to unify. Romans 9 verse 6. Not as though the word of the most high Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai have taken none effect, for they all, for they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. Okay? And, and that's what's going on right now. They claim they're Israel, but they're really not of Israel. They're not covering the covering of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. They come in the covering of their own fleshly beady heart, man. So the clip I showed you <clears throat> was from 300 when um you had a guy that wanted to enter to the ranks of the of the brotherhood of the of the Spartan army. Okay? It's very similar of what we go through, okay? And he he basically told him, raise your shield. And he couldn't raise it all the way. Spiritually, that's just like you're halfway in of the world and halfway in for the fight. Okay? And he explained to him, look, man, we fight as one impenetrable unit. As one. You hear the key word? One. All right? All right? One. That's why they that's why um they fight together, man. Why? Because they they doing the same thing. They are as one. Okay? So then he said um one uh, a one weak spot, which is the which is the out of control nigga that you saw <laughs> in a video. Can shatter the felons, could you know, can destroy the whole army. 
So you think you want a guy with a different doctrine coming in to join the ranks of Yahab Bashim Yahweh Shai? No. A little leaven leaven the whole lump. You have to understand that. Okay? It's clearly that Yahab Bashim Yahweh Shai is showing the folly of these other camps and showing they're failing, man. Okay? You always got to follow what the scriptures say, not by your own desires of your heart, man. Okay? <clears throat> Let's get the next scripture. This is um, 2 Peter's. Bear with me a bit. And this, I don't know why this computer being a little too slow. This is 2 Peter's 2, verse 12. Okay, uh, now speeding up. But these are as natural brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed. What's that brute beast is talking about? It's talking about the flesh, the, the, the carnalites of Israel, man. Why? Because they go by the emotions like women. Okay? And they handle their emotions through their flesh instead of using being in the spirit. Okay? If you're in the spirit, you know you have to speak the same thing. All right? 2 Peter 2, verse 12. But these as natural brute beasts made to be taken, destroyed, speak of evil of things that they understand not, and they shall utterly perish in their own corruption. As you can see, that house is divided. All those guys of them unity camps with different doctrines, is that house was divided for a very long time. And we've seen that men, men with spiritual eyes can see that. Why? Because we follow the scriptures. Okay? Let's read it again. 2 Peter 2 and 12. But these are natural brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed. They're going to be destroyed. How? They're going to be destroyed by Yahab Bashim first and foremost. And Yahab Bashim is going to use the so-called white man to destroy them. Okay? Or even of their own. Two-thirds of our own people. Okay? Speak of evil things that they understand not. They speak evil of men of great millstone. Of men that teach in the same doctrine. That's following the scriptures on point. They speak evil things which they don't understand because you have to understand this is of Yahweh Bashim Yashai. This is not of you. Get over yourself. Okay? And they shall utterly perish in their own corruption. That whole unity camp is corrupted, man. Why? Because they of men. This is not of Yahweh Bashim Yashai. They're not in order. That's what you can see. They like a bunch of children out there just saying who dick is bigger, whose balls is bigger. Just basically wants to rule the nigger kingdom, man. If you don't have spiritual eyes to see what's going on, then you then you part then you are partaker of their evil deeds. That's just what it is. You like it. You like the drama. I don't like the drama. Personally, I don't, man. It's a waste of time. It's nothing but folly, as you can see. What the Lord is clearly showing. All right. All right. Let's get with the next scripture. This is Jude 1 and 10. Jude 1 verse 10. Uh, right here. But these speak of evil of those things which they know not. But what they know naturally as brute beast and those things they corrupt themselves. How they corrupt themselves? That the all twelve tribes are are black. Um, there's other groups that teach that the um, nuclear missiles <laughs> is not the uh, uh, the is not the destruction of America, so to say. Charis doesn't exist. You got other groups saying. That Yahweh Shai don't exist. You got other groups saying that the northern kingdom, the, the northern kingdom are the, are the only 12 tribes. You got so much madness out there. It's, 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 it's crazy, man. I just laugh about it. Okay? You got guys who teach that the RFID chip is not the mark of the beast. You got guys that teach. It's okay. God doesn't work. Die. You see the folly? God doesn't care about the chip if you take the chip. Where in the scripture that says that at? God, man, I swear, man, the Lord's gonna put these niggas to death, man. These all this racket and noise, on, 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 you know, it's not called for. 
all right? It's nothing but evil, man. Evil sayings, man, by these evil niggas that's out there, man. Okay? But you know they play their part. <laughs> all right? Let's get the next scripture. This is, um, this is Jeremiah 14. Yeah, let me get it, let me get it, let me get it. Jeremiah 14, verse 14. Then the Lord said unto me, The prophets prophesy lies in my name. I sent them not. Never have I commanded them. Never spake unto them. They prophesy unto you a false vision. What's one of the false visions saying that um, the Lord doesn't care if you, if you don't take the chip? The RFID chip is not the mark of the beast. All 12 tribes are all black people. These are false visions and divinations. Okay? They prophesy unto you false vision and divination and a thing of naught and the deceit of their heart. Don't you know the heart is, 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 is the most <laughs> wickedness part of your body, man? These guys are nothing but emotional creatures, man. As you can see. All right? Um, let me read it one more time. Then the Lord said unto me, The prophets prophesied lies in my name. And who, who's that talking about? It's talking about the false prophets out there. Okay? I sent them not, neither have I commanded them. The Lord haven't sent these men, man. All right? You already know who sent these men. Esau did. Okay? I could be wrong. Or it could be just that part, you know, they just proud, they just want to put on a garment and, and to be seen by the eyes of men. Okay? Let's read. They prophesy unto you a false vision, divination, and a thing of naught, and the deceit of their own heart. Alright? That's these guys, man. That's these guys teaching you the wrong thing to do. Teaching you to be carnal is the wrong thing to do. You're supposed to be spiritual. Because remember, carnal... Our carnal mind is enmity to uh, uh, to the Lord, man. Okay? This is what the scripture said. Don't listen to me. The scripture's saying that, man. All right, let's get the next scripture. This is um, 2 Peter's 2 and 1. I swear, man. Here we go, Second Peter's 2 verse 1 But there were false prophets also among the people And that's what's going on right now Because we are in the last days Brothers and sisters Okay There's going to be the opposition Alright There's going to be the adversaries There's going to be enemies Against the heroes, man Okay That's, that's part of, the, that's part of the, the Lord's movie he likes theatrics here. Okay? All right. Let's read. 2 Peter 2 verse 1. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you. As you can see, there's false teachers among you, man. And unity camps with different doctrines is false teaching. Because according to the scripture, you're supposed to speak the same thing according to what Apostle Gabar said earlier in his videos. Okay? It's, it's plain. Okay? There should be a false teacher among you who privily, secretly, okay, shall bring in damnable heresies. What's a damnable heresy? That the RFID chip is not the mark of the beast. That all 12 tribes are black. <laughs> that Yahweh Shai doesn't exist. It's only Yahweh. It's, it, um, you don't have to go out and do the work. That's a damnable heresy. That, why? Because that's totally against the scriptures. All right? Let's continue reading. Even denying the Lord that bought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction. And that's what's going to roll. It's nothing but swift destruction. Why? Because they're not together as one unit. It's nothing but weak shields and weak, weak armor all around that camp, around those guys, man. Anybody could bust through the bus, bus in easily, man. Okay? Let's get the next scripture. This is um, 1 John. 
This is First John. Uh, First John, the fourth chapter. All right. Now, these for your new people out there, you new brothers and sisters, man. Oh, because you see camps coming together, right? With diff different camps, different sects coming together is a good thing. No, it's not. It's wicked. Why? Because they're coming with different doctrines. You can't, that, that causes confusion to the sheep. Okay? This is what y'all need to be at, all right? And, and the first scripture I put out was Romans, the ninth chapter, verse 6. Or because they claim Israel, that means they're not of... Or because they claim Israel doesn't mean they're Israel. Okay? Y'all have to learn this. Alright? This is 1 John 4 and 1. Bel beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of the Most High, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. You have to try their spirits, man. Are they speaking the correct doctrine? No. They not. Why? Because they all in they all it's like it's like you got a bunch of dudes speaking different languages and, and it is and it's speaking different things, not according to what's being taught. What that's gonna be that's what that's gonna happen, that's gonna scatter the sheep. It's gonna cause confusion. Okay? So you gotta try the spirit, man. Believe not every spirit out there. Some of those demons out there is not for your best interest. They dare to sway you out, to sway you out this word. <laughs> what do you think this is coming from? It's coming from Satan, man. Remember, Satan is, is willing to sift you out this word, this truth, any way possible. Let's read it again. This is 1 John 4, verse 1. Believe, beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits where they are of the Most High. And 12 tribes is all black, is not of the Lord. Riding and drunkenness and fighting one another is not of the Lord. Having many doctrines, mixed doctrines upon one another and, and trying to come together is not of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Let's read. Because many false prophets are gone out into the world. These guys are number of false prophets, man. They're only here to serve their belly. They're only here to get the bitches. They're only here to play a rap game. They're only here for eye service. Are there sincere members among those groups? Yes, there is. But it's, it's really upon the Lord to wake them out of that garbage. Okay? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put out two more scriptures. I'm going to end it right there. Because we of great millstone through the spirit of Yahab, Bashem, and Shai, and the brothers who teach in the same doctrine, okay? We are one impenetrable unit, man. Why? Because we speak the same things. We come in the same doctrine, okay? And, and, and guess what? It's unbeatable. Why? Because it's of the spirit of Yahab, Bashem, and Shai. It's of Yahab, Bashem, and Shai. All right? And if y'all don't get it, well, the hell with you if you don't get it. If you want to keep getting that unity and come together with different doctrines, then the hell with you, man. You'll be destroyed out in America. All right? This is Ephesians, the fourth chapter. Okay? Uh, mm, 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 mm. All right. If, bear with me. All right. This is Ephesians, the fourth chapter, verse 14. All right. And it reads that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine. Deal with those children, man, out there. Talk about those false prophets, those men out there. Nothing but folly what you're seeing. They are tossed. They are, hey, they are on every type of doctrine you, you, you can name possible. That's why it's not standing. That's why it's nothing but confusion and just plain messiness, man. All right? Let's read. By the sl All right. Let's, let me start from the top. Ephesians 4, verse 14. That we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine. By the slight of men and cunning craftiness. A lot of these guys are sneaky, man. They're only here for one agenda. They're here, they're here to 
really break up the sheep, man. They're here doing the, they doing, they doing, they doing Satan's work, man. Okay? Let's read. By the sight of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lied and wait to deceive. Who they deceiving? They deceiving the children of Israel, man, who's trying to learn. Who's trying to find the truth. Okay? The brother, um, Mike Yala, you know, one of the, one of the, one of the brothers here in L.A. here with me. You know, he did a, he did a great, um, he brought up a great point, man. You want to know the truth, man? You don't want to be tossed to and fro? Stick with Great Millstone. And I'm, I'm saying it really um, humbly, okay? Because we care for the sheep. We, we, um, we sound the alarm when the wolf comes, okay? We try to get you prepared to the best of our ability through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Shai to prepare you for that day of battle, Okay? Verse 15 But speaking in truth and love May grow up into him In all things which is the head Even Mashiach Alright Let's go down to um, 16 Alright from, from the whole From whom the whole body is fitly Fitly You hear the word fitly Joined together Okay We're like dragon skin Fitly joined together Like a like a huge shield, man. Impenetrable force. The house of David, man. We're like spiritual mighty men out there, man. We cannot be swayed. It's all through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. All right? Let's read that again on verse 16. Let's read that again in verse 16. And... From whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplieth, according to the effect, effectual working in a measure of every part. Every brother has his part, man. Right, the hand, the wrist, the shoulder, the arm, the legs, the chest, the head. It's all fitly joined together, man. Just like in that part, in that in that clip I showed you. You got to have your, your shields from thigh to neck, man. From thigh to neck, man. We all, like, we're, we're an impenetrable force, man, of one fighting force. Why? Because we speak the same thing. Okay? Let's read. According to the effect of working in a measure of every part, make of increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love. And what's the love? We're supposed to feed the lambs, man. If you love your Ha'abashim Yasha, you're supposed to feed the sheep. Point blank period Half truth still equals a lie You gotta come with 100% You gotta come 100% Or if you don't You're gonna die here in America man Alright So people probably wondering Why are you doing a video about this You should uplift the brothers Well you know what Countless videos were made to correct To correct um, brothers Coming with false doctrines Alright if they didn't take heed to it, to hell with them, man. Okay? Right now, they being mocked at right now. Because why? They're not finishing the race, so they being mocked at right now. It's all in the scriptures, ladies and gentlemen. Put your emotions at the door. Let the scriptures speak. Let, let the scriptures say what it needs to be said. You people are too goddamn emotional, man. And the Lord is showing his folly. You gotta you gotta read it in you gotta read it in the spirit. Okay? What you see there is folly, man. And it's breaking down right in front of your eyes, man. Shows you that the Lord is not with these guys. Let's get the last scripture. <clears throat> this is um This is first Corinthians one and ten. I'll I'll that'll be the last scripture, okay? Or to whatever the spirit is telling me, I'll get another another one. First Corinthians 1 and 10. Now I beseech you, brethren. What, what does it mean by beseech you? It means I beg of you. Okay? Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord, Yahawashai, Mashiach, that you all speak the same thing. You hear that? 
Let's read it again. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord, Yahweh Shemach Yach, that ye all speak the same thing, and there be no divisions among you. What you clearly see, those unity camps, is divisions among them. That's made to fail. Let's continue. There be no divisions among you, but that you be that you be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. You hear that? Perfectly joined together. Can you clearly, honestly tell me, are they joined, perfectly joined together? No, man. Check your emotions at the door and let the scripture speak. It's, the scripture is giving you the answer. Come on, people, wake up. You know, we at the end. We at the end times right now. Mosai is showing you. The, the the Lord is showing you, man. He's not playing any games here with you, man. He's showing the folly of these other groups. He's separating the mice. He's separating the mice from men. Okay. Let's read. Let me go. I got one more scripture. I got more work for you. <laughs> Okay, um, let me see, let me get one here. Oh, let me get Luke 11, verse 17. I'm, I'm going to take this, you take this in the spirit, okay? We could use it at these unity camps here. But he, knowing their thoughts, said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and a house divided against a house falleth. As you can see, that it's, it's going to fall, man. These men are go is going to be destroyed, man. Why? Because they're the prophets of Baal. And we're the prophets of Yahweh Bashem Yashar. Hopefully, we're that hopeful elect. Okay? So, I hope your brothers will um, edify. Your brothers and sisters were edified. Look, I, look the Most High is showing the folly of this camp. And he's showing you through scriptures. And I'm showing you through the scripture. Because this is not of me. This is of Yahweh Bashem Yashar. Okay, first and foremost, he's showing you the folly of these of camps that gets divided once another. You can't you can't have different doctrines and join together. That's impossible. Okay, he's supposed to be like Voltron, five lines connecting as one, right? For your old school cats out there. All right, the Lord the Lord just can't use these guys, man. All right. So I hope your brothers were edified, your sisters were edified. I'm gonna give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakadach. Double honors to the apostle of the elders, great millstone, peace and salutation for the hopeful like Akium that's pushing this word of true sincerity. Till then, another video. Shalom.